Alright guys, so I kind of wanted to run you down my version 2 goggles. The version 1 goggles that I made in a previous video worked really well. I just wanted something that I could pretty much throw in my backpack, throw in a little bag somewhere, and just go out and fly, you know. And the other ones were just a little too bulky. So I came up with this pretty ingenious solution that I think most, that I think some manufacturers should actually start doing. Or come up with something a little better than, like the head plays are great goggles, they're just massive, they're massive things. And I like how small this turned out, and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm just going to run this thing down with you and we're going to check it out a little bit more. Oh, whoa, what was that? All right. So that popped out and it can pop right back in. It's not going to fall out because I have a little solution in there for you. And if I pull it out here, I can show you the Fresnel lens. All I've done is just glued it on the corners and cut it to size and whatnot. We'll get to that little top Velcro in a second. That's the same strap from the old one. It's just ski mask strap, whatever you have laying around. This is the track I've built out of a popsicle stick, and there's two other popsicle sticks on the inside that it fits in between. The bottom Velcro will get to that as well. This is just the other side. It's the exact same as the other one. And <clears throat> on the inside here, we can see the little rails that I've made on each, on each side. And that one popsicle stick just slides right in. Just like so. And these little Velcro things, I put them there just out of ease. And what I do is I put them over these little popsicle sticks that I've glued to the edges. So I'll take them. I have two smaller ones, and there's a big one on top. So I'm going to rip those off. And as you can see, there's a popsicle stick going over each line of Velcro. And that's how I hold this in place. I couldn't really think of any other solution, and this actually ended up working pretty well, so I haven't fixed it or been thinking about another way to do it. So I can pick it up here and actually show you how sturdy this connection is. Like I said, it works pretty well, so I don't see any reason to change it. Alright, so that's where the battery goes on the edge. You want it as close to your face as possible to keep uh, the whole lever action from going down. If you put it towards the front of the TV or in front of the monitor, it's really going to pull hard on your face. Granted, I've got this big battery on it. You don't need something that large. That was my mistake. And as you can see, this Fresno lens works pretty well. I get a massive field of view. I've been using these things for about a month now, month and a half. And it, it was, I would say they give me about the same as the original goggles, but these ones are just so much more portable. And, in fact, I can change the length of the Fresno lens between the monitor and give myself a little play with there to for focal length. So that's kind of nice. But I found out that I like it as close as possible because if it's too far out, I just, I can't see. So here we can see it. Granted, in real life, the Fresno lens blows it out a lot more, but it works pretty well. On the edge there, I've just used some weather stripping, like super thick weather stripping that I found at Lowe's or any, pretty much you can go to any of your local hardware stores and they'll probably have it. It's really comfortable. I originally tried some cut up koozies for your drinks and stuff and that was just extremely uncomfortable so I went out and actually bought some weather stripping it was like four bucks for way more than you need and as you can see it just collapses up pretty well nice small package so much better than the original one and that's pretty much it guys so if you liked what you saw today, let me know in the comments and I can post a how-to video. I recorded the entire process of me making these goggles, but there's so much video. I do not want to have to go through all of that editing and make it look good and stuff if no one's really that interested. So if you're interested, let me know. Thanks for watching.